Hi everybody. I want to take a second to talk about paragraph structure. A good academic paragraph has a job to do. And in order to do that job, it needs to convey four things. A paragraph must start with a topic sentence. It has to have a topic plus an opinion. Don't forget the opinion. This topic sentence will appear in sentence number one or two. For example, if you're writing a paper on the chrysanthemums by John Steinbeck and you want to talk about the setting, okay, that's the topic of your paragraph. You're going to be talking about the setting. Now, what does the setting convey? What is your opinion about the setting? You could say that the setting helps to set the tone of the, of the short story or the setting creates an atmosphere of oppression in the short story. Okay, now we have something to prove. Once you've set the, that topic sentence, you now move on to introducing the evidence. All evidence must be put into context. Do not assume that I have read John Steinbeck's The Chrysanthemums. You have to give me enough information so that I don't have to read the story. You need to give me the author's name, the title, and the text summary what the story is about. Give me enough information so that whatever you're about to quote is put into context. It has background information. So if you're going to be quoting the end of the short story, then you need to tell me what has happened in the short story briefly, maybe three or four sentences, so that I understand what is going on. Once you have put the evidence into context, given me background information of the story, you are now allowed to quote or paraphrase. Okay, and remember MLA format, where does the page number go and where does the period go? Finally, the explanation. This is the hardest part. The explanation is complicated and you need to take your time and slowly work through the explanation. This is the longest part of the paragraph. Now remember, the, the explanation has to explain that topic sentence. How does the evidence prove your topic sentence? So if, after you've quoted, what you should do first? What does the quote say? Literally reword it in your own words. Take out the words of the quote and tell me what those words imply. What do they mean? Why were those words used? Explain what the quote says, how the quote proves your topic sentence. So if you're going to be proving that the setting creates a feeling of oppression, well, you have to find a quote that helps set that up for me. And then you need to tell me what the words mean. The closed pot, the fog. What does a fog mean? What does the closed pot mean? How do those words prove oppression? And then finally, you need to end your paragraph with some kind of comment about why the idea that your paragraph is proving is so important. What's the big deal? What's the lesson learned? I need to learn something. What is the human truth that I am learning in your paragraph? What universal human experience has the text taught me? Why is it important that the setting conveys oppression? All right, I hope that helps. Remember, academic paragraphs have a structure. You need to have these elements in your paragraph in order to achieve success in academic writing. I hope that helps.